In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to optimize your NVIDIA GPU and what you can do to get more performance and FPS. If you want to know how to optimize your GPU literally for free, make sure to watch the full video and join the Discord. All right, the first thing we're going to be starting off with is make sure you have NVIDIA app downloaded. If you don't have NVIDIA app downloaded, then you want to search up NVIDIA. If you have NVIDIA app, you want to download the NVIDIA app for gamers. You're going to click this, download. Then once it's downloaded, it'll pop up like this. If you never ran this, make sure you have this download. This is really important to install your drivers for your GPU. Then you want to go to drivers and you want to make sure it's up to date. If it's not up to date, update it and then click on custom and then make sure you do don't like duh. when you do custom, it's like hold on, actually I'm gonna show you. Custom installation is like this, it'll pop up like this. And make sure this is unchecked. Make sure all of these are checked and then click to continue. Once that's done and that's updated, another thing we're gonna install is Video debloater NV clean. This is gonna debloat your your drivers. It's gonna make it more clean, a more clean install for your GPU. If you don't want to download this, you don't have to download it. It's not a rad. It's safe. You can search it up, do a background search on it, everything. Once you get into this menu, you want to click on all. Then you want to click on next. And start installing. Also, keep in mind, you don't have to do this one, but if you want the best performance for your GPU, NVIDIA GPU, then I recommend NV install, especially if you're a low end GPU person, like max of like the 30 series, starting from the 30 series. If you want the most out of your PC, then I recommend downloading this. What you want to do is click next. You want to click install. Then I click up the graphic driver. I'm going to click green and continue. I'm going to click express. You want to click next then it's going to start installing the best gpu drivers for your gpu once it's done it will tell you when it's done complete you want to click close and close this out Wait, before you keep watching, I want to talk about today's sponsor, 420 Services. Are you looking forward to cheat on 5M? Well, look no further. 420 Services has everything you need. They offer many undetected cheats for 5M, such as Red Engine, Susiano, TZ, and more. If you're looking to purchase stuff from 420 Services, make sure to use code UGIL5 at your checkout to receive 5% off of your first order. And enjoy the video. Once that is closed, then what we want to do is search up. But we want to right click on our desktop, show more options. Click on the video control panel. I'm going to be showing you the best settings to use if you have a low GPU or high GPU. It doesn't matter, it's still useful. First thing you want to make sure to do is keep make sure this is off, make sure illusion is off. I have a 5070, so this will probably be on if you have one, but if it is on, just turn it off. Make sure to turn this off, off, off. Then you want to scroll down to background application. This is so if you if you're playing the main game and you have like discord open or whatever that will turn the background apps all to 30 fps while your main game has the most fps which i do recommend if you're a streamer then i recommend turning this on so we're going to keep this on then what we're going to do is turn on low latency to ultra low latency is just for like zero delay if you play fortnite and just other games and you're tired of like it stutters when you move your mouse like not on a right delay or whatever then i recommend turn this on you can play around with it and see if like if you see a difference or whatever if you don't you can just keep it off but i recommend turning it on then you want to go to open gto render gpu and you want to make sure your gpu is selected whatever is right there and you want to make sure your power management is on preferred maximum power because we want to use the most out of our gpu while we're gaming then we're going to our shader catch size we want to put this on I'm going to put it on five gigabytes. You can put it on 10, but I recommend five. Just put it on five. But after that, we're going to make sure this is off. Then we want to make sure this is on clamp. Then you want to go to here. You want to make sure this is on high. This will matter. If you want your game to look good, then put it on high quality. If you do not care about your game looking good and you just want the max performance, put it on high performance. Me, I like to go for quality wise, so I'm gonna put mine on high quality. Then we're gonna score down here, put this on off, put this on off, and put this on off. If you have a 60 hertz monitor, you might want to keep this on. So if you have a 60 hertz monitor, if your if your hertz is higher than 60, then you want to turn. You want to keep this off. If your hertz is higher than 60, you want to turn it off. If you have 60 hertz and below, 
you want to make sure this is turned on. Then you want to go to the change resolution. You want to make sure you're using max refresh hertz for your main monitor and second monitor. My second monitor, I recommend I put 120 because I like my second monitor to look good while I'm recording or I'm watching movies while I'm gaming or whatever. But if you want the most IPS on your second, you can just put it there. My second is like a 144 hertz. You want to make sure your main monitor is the highest hertz too. Then you want to go to your change desktop color settings. If you want your game to look good while gaming, like my realistic packs and my videos look good because I have this one secret setting turned up to 75%. Usually it's at 50, but I recommend turning it up to 75 because it makes your game look so much better. Then you want to go to adjust desktop size and position which is this section. You want to make sure this is on full screen and you want to make sure your performance scaling is used on your make sure override scaling set mode by games and program is on. And you want to make sure it's on the max hertz and 1920 by 1080 or whatever your monitor is currently. Then you want to go to the second, you have a second screen you want to for all your screens. If you, if you have a lot of multiple screens, then you do it for all of them. It would make sense in, a, in the long run. Once you do that, then you can close on the video app nvidia control app what you want to do now is you want to download this folder called nvidia gpu tweaks these are really good if you have nvidia gpu to get these you want to join my discord server then you want to go to the Yu-Gi-Oh pc it will be linked in the description or if you're in a 5m community you can go here then you can scroll to other servers and you can click on the Yu-Gi-Oh pc go to the server you want to scroll down to custom tweaks you want to click on this as the same thumbnail as this video you want to click on download follow the instructions for it once you do that you have this folder right here you want to right click on it you want to drag it to your desktop and right click on it make sure you have one around installed also it's right here drag this over here make sure to open it then you want to run the first one click yes okay yes okay yes okay same thing for all of these. Now for this part, you want to make sure to right click and run as administrator. Then you want to search for your GPU. It will say your GPU name, whatever your GPU name is, it will say it. I'm going to click here and click this and put it on high. Then to click apply. This is basically like overclocking your GPU, but it just sets it on the highest that it can to make so your GPU is doing the most while you're playing your game. Once you do all these tweaks, you can then start your PC. If you want more videos like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and also join my new Discord because we're going to roll to 10K members in peace.